My name is Rakaya Alam. I am uprising um, sophomore, um, majoring in political science. My title is the president of MSA. My name is Samar Dahli, and I am vice president of MSA. MSA stands for Muslim Students Association. MSA represents Kiberni's diversity religiously. We definitely needed um, MSA in Kiberni, at Kiberni because other um, professors and advisors have told me that there are other Muslims coming in than before and there are people who are interested in having something like this. So I thought bringing this here to campus would be very helpful and exciting for those who are um, excited. So it kind of connects to the diversity here and it's not just, just because um, the campus is Catholic doesn't mean like other religious clubs can be up here, so. Kibrini is very diverse, whether it's religiously or ethnically or um, racially. And MSA really represents that because even within the MSA, there are many different races and religions within the group so far. My name is Gabriel Cano. I am a double major in Spanish and English education, and I am the treasurer for this club, MSA. MSA is open to basically everyone. We don't have any strict rules or anything. Uh, for example, I am Latino myself, so ethnicity is not a problem. Religion doesn't matter. Um, it's open to everyone. My name is Alexander Sanchez. I'm a sophomore. Uh, I'm a psychology major, and I am currently the secretary of MSA. I became involved by becoming friends with uh, fellow members and uh, executive board members and eventually I got interested by just hearing them talk about what it meant to be an MSA and what it meant to be Muslim and all the diversity that, that comes between different religions and cultures and I, I just wanted to be a part of that. The club is basically here to help people that are Muslim and people that are not Muslim come together to understand each other's cultures, practices, beliefs and all that. Next year, we plan on having uh, a fastathon. A fastathon is basically is going to be during Ramadan, which is the holy month in Islam where Muslims fast while the sun is up. And while Muslims are fasting, we're going to invite non-Muslims to fast with us. And regardless of if you fast with us or not, everyone is welcome to an iftar, which is us breaking our fast at the end. And we're going to try to collect non-perishables and donate them to Islamic organizations for people who don't necessary who don't have food to break their fast with. Hannah Night, which is um, an event we'll have, well, we're already having one for Epic Weekend, but we'll have another one, which is um, called Hannah Event, and it is to enjoy the South Asian and Middle Eastern um, traditional thing where we use henna um, to like celebrate an event like Eid or Ramadan, or birthdays or occasionally, like we use henna for occasional um, reasons, so we thought we would bring up the um, cultural things here as well. It's not just for Muslims, but most of the Muslims from Middle Eastern and South Asian countries use it, so that would bring it up too. And we're also going to be working on Islamic Awareness Week for next year, so we're going to offer people wristbands and we're going to be selling t-shirts and there's going to be a lot of different events. When we do the fundraising events and whatnot, anything we collect will most of the time go to um, masjids, which is mosques, and will hopefully help the people who are in need of help with either money or donations and food, anything, basically. And we're thinking of mostly refugees. I would like people to know that they should be more interested about it in it because it could help them learn something that they might not know. Like all the preconceived notions that people have about Muslim students and Muslim people around the world are really deteriorating the images of these people that are actually just like us in more way than, than we know. MSA is really about just bringing people together and unity and being able to create a better community around us.